Hello everyone, my name is Silverwolf, and welcome back to Fallout 3. Continue on into Vault 112. Vault 112, whatever you want to call it. Ah yes, the alarm sound as we open the door. I have no idea what's going to be waiting for us inside. I might even swap us out for an assault rifle. Since we have a fair amount of ammo for it. Let's continue inwards. I genuinely do not have any idea what's waiting for us in here. Welcome to Vault ah. 112, resident. According to A sensors, brain. you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Okay then. Tranquility. Well, let's do as the robot says. Lounger is available. Please be seated. We don't want to have set the robot yet. Maybe later. There's the tranquility lounges. Lockers are all empty. More vault jumpsuits. Like a cigarettes. Not cruiser outfit. More packs of ciggies. DR11, DR9. Yeah, let's get rid of the Vault 101 security armor. That should tidy things up a little bit. Just gonna have a bit of a scrounge around in here before we go to the Tranquility Lounge. See what we can find. Okay, I need to the computer because I need a key. Hello, sir. I don't want to go down there just yet.
I been up here? Yes, I have. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we've just come full circle. Please do not disturb the other residents. Take your seat. Please take a seat in the Tranquility Lounger. We have no idea who's in this one. We can't, uh, and the stress level is elevated, okay. Okay, that one's broken. I guess we hop in. Into the Tranquility Lounge we go. Good day. Oh. I think you should go speak with Betty. She's waiting for you. Uh, okay. Twenty points into repair. So what have we got? Gunsling is useless, lead belly is useless. Well, okay, so yeah, lead belly is not that useless. That's actually not too bad. But we're going to try, we try not to use irradiated water sources, so it's not a big deal. Toughness is useful, but we're not going to take it this early. I think at this point, I either want Bloody Mess or Fortune Finder. Maybe the extra damage at this point? Alright, let's go and speak to Betty. Hi there. What do you want, Betty White? Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. I'm Betty. Nobody I cares about you, Betty. Lane. Want to play a game? <laughs> if I want to play a game, I s it's easy. You make Timmy Newsbomb cry. You can't do that here. And now you Well then Don't punch Betty <laughs> uh, Unfortunately I didn't save it after that either. That kinda sucks. Oh well. Not like I lost much. I know there's only a tiny little bit of loot in here. Welcome. 
Yep. Don't care about you. Barrel. Um, okay, for starters, let's repair that like we did before. Got one of twelve jumpsuit. Drop that. Tranquility Lounger is available. Please be seated. All right, so we'll go down here like we did before. There was some reasonably useful loot around the place. I'll go and grab that quickly. Yep, don't care about you. This is to start. Drama. Slightly different loot this time, but it looks interesting. I wonder if you could potentially like save scum that and just like keep reloading. Either that or I just didn't loot that one last time. Probably more likely. Cigarettes. Mentats. Take all of that. Take the medics. All that's useful in here. Can't do in there, though there's lots of stuff in there. Which is a shame. Would be nice to be able to join there and collect all that loot. Alright. Empty one. So we're gonna quickly save it here. This time. This time, if we die, we won't have so far to run. All right, so we leveled up again. Bring all those points into repair. And bloody mess. Oh, so it'll be fun. Make him cry. Uh, I need to transform you back somehow. Okay. What can I do for you, sport? George Nussbaum. Proud. Another perfect. Another perfect Saturday afternoon. Take.
So first of all, I'm going to make Timmy cry. Where are you, Timmy? You upstairs? Nope. Timmy ain't in here. Uh, don't care. Hear me. You, you don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all the dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. <laughs> evil. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. <laughs> but I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. Don't know. Can't sleep sometimes. Hear voices. My own skin doesn't feel right. None of this is right. Of course I believe You've you. You've got to believe me. You've got to find that failsafe. It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. Okay. You've got to find it. So I've got to find the failsafe terminal in the abandoned house. Let's just drop a quick save there. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? Didn't even know that would work. All right, that's a bit useless. Access Chinese invasion. Rotez are considered finally putting pulling the plug, as it were, and putting a permanent end to both this situation in my life this simulation of my life. That is the reason I request the installation of General Chase's Chinese invasion program. After all, by disabling the safety protocols, I've ensured that each subject in Vault 112 will physically die if they're in simulation in simulation. Avatars are killed. Real world death, the end of simulation. 
A perfect failsafe. At least it would, it, at least it would have been if not for my own misjudgment. I knew when the simulation first went online that the secondary safeties that was established for all vault tech and military personnel would prevent my own real world demise in the event of a failsafe execution. In the end, I would kill the subjects and save myself. I wouldn't want it any other way, or so I thought. It's true the other failsafes would scare the living hell out of every other every resident in their tranquility lane and lead to and led to their sorry and lead to their brutal deaths. But then what about me? Sorry, and and led? I don't know. I, right, anyway. Uh, I have no ability to disable my own safety from within the simulation, and any other avatars I could create would be driven by the simulation's AI. Uh, so AI routines, not actual living, thinking human subjects. Where's the fun in tormenting a machine? So the release of the real world subjects is more is more than they deserve, more than I could more than I could bear. They'd be dead, and I'd be left here in tranquility lane, all alone and tragically bored, all of eternity. I can think of nothing more unacceptable. Dr. Braun, here is the revised code for the exist for the military training program you've expressed. You've expressed interest in. I'm not sure exactly what you want with it, and I again stress that this program was never designed to be run with civilian equipment. Frankly, I don't expect any system you have access you have access to can even run it. But if you can run this program with the fail safes off as requested. The real world test subjects will die if killed in the simulation. It goes without saying that officially I denied your request. General Constantine Chase, US Military Training Program 923B, Chinese Invasion. Purpose simulated communist incursion on US soil. Documentation culled, new protocols enacted. Disable safety protocols 1 to 6, override target acquisition. One in test subjects will experience real world termination. Proceed with extreme caution. Initiate. Let's see if they just run past, because I don't really want to fight them. Oh, there's a door. What did you do? Do you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe, ruined everything. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything. Everything. Yep. Alone. What will I do now? I have no one. Nothing. You've destroyed everything that's mattered to me. He's been right here the whole time. And you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. My name is Stanislaus Braun. I'm a vault -Tec scientist. I created this simulation for vault -Tec, but for myself as well. It was my own design, my own perfection. A better reality than any other. Far greater than my work on the Gek. Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything! I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. Run along! Alright. Well, that saved me a lot of time. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped Daddy, in there forever. Did you get so the milk to see and the you. bread what, and the cigarettes? What are you doing here? Well, I'm glad you did. 
This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. It certainly is. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. And thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity isn't lost after all. I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. Yes. With what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. Hell yeah. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to... Oh nice, another level up from that. Awesome. Be careful. Alright. So maybe... Big Guns is done. Maybe Barter. What do we got? Size matters. That's useless. Uh, let's get Scrounger. into the garage why is it still telling me to talk to dad Would have been useful to know that was there before. Oh, I guess it wouldn't really have mattered too much. Alright. The dad's gonna run there. We, on the other hand, are not. We're just gonna teleport straight to Rivet City. Please. Are you serious? I, I... I can... Really? Seriously? You've helped me so much. It seems wrong. I've been drinking whatever I can find, but I can't do it any... Please. Alright, so I'm guessing Dad hasn't made it here yet. No, okay. So we're gonna go down. Let's go to the market first. Decided to check out the shop. Need to. What are you good for sale, Flack? Um, anything useful? Five millimeter rounds. Yes, we'll take them all.
Okay. What have I got I can flog off to you? I can flog off some missiles, but they don't weigh anything. So let's start with... Greater armor. Get rid of that. Get rid of those sensor modules. All the fission battery. Um, I don't really have anything else I want to buy, do you? Mostly just my crap that I already sold to you. Thanks. Okay. If you. Have you seen my husband, Polly? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait. Um. Twenty hours. That'll make it one p.m. Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a minute. Have you seen my husband, Polly? Okay. Um. <clears throat> they call shrapnel. me shrapnel. Ain't seen many of those around lately. They're tough to come by. <laughs> what you looking for? Oh, I see. I see. Wait. Oh. Thank you, Shrapnel. That's bloody useful. Let's vlog some stuff off to you. Sell the missiles because they're useless. Call the quantum. Like a Siggies. Selling the Terps. Vodka. Whiskey. Wonder Glue. Hold on to the five hook six. Alt rifle. Okay. I think we're good. Thanks. Thanks, Cindy. I'm gonna go take a nap. 
Mm. Yes. You and I might be having another discussion later on, Shrapnel. Did you need something? You're bloody useful, mate. Alright. Daddy should be here now. Let's go out to the science lab. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Let's go and check on Daddy in the science lab. Or the science lab. I told you it would work, Madison, and now I can prove it. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know, I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Did you need something? We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. Probably, but we have to try, don't we? It's too important for the people of the Wasteland to let fear stop us now. We need to get moving right away. Are you coming with us? That's my... It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. Okay. <clears throat> so, Daddy wants to go to Project Purity. Good to which see we you. have already cleared out. So it shouldn't be too dangerous there. That's right, Daddy. Just shove him out of the way. Are in such a hurry. <laughs> Any trouble in this area? Oh, come on! Pay more attention to what you're doing! Then get out of the way. Hello, son. Did you need something? Nope. I'll leave the place when I can open the door. Did you need something? I'm pretty sure that all the super muties here are dead. Roman trader. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. 
But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. If the clothes buddy. make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. No, you got nothing useful. What? Alright, so let's go over to Project Purity, clean up anything that might have respawned, and then we'll wait for Dad. Hopefully Daddy won't go looking for more cigarettes this time. Augment a nail board, you got nothing useful on you. Well, let's... Let's wait five hours and see if Daddy catches up in five hours. Can't wait in this location. Can't wait, this enemy is nearby. Gotta love bloody mess. Enemies nearby, okay. Yeah. Alright. Let's wait another five hours for Daddy to arrive. Millimeter rounds. Whiskey. can't accomplish anything until we can get inside. I hate to ask you to put yourself in harm's way, but I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. Be careful. Are you all right? Is it safe in there? Or do what you have to, but be... Remain is not safe. I killed them all already.
that's the door to the rotunda. Do I need to go and clear this sub basement as well? There's something padding around. Yeah, mate, it was nothing. Nothing but me murdering your friend. Huh? Alright, you know what? Let's switch the minigun. Get demolished. Rifle. Nothing useful there. Enemies nearby. No more. Boy apples, 10 millimeter pistol, pork and beans. Got some fat loot down here. Vodka. But alcohol never hurt anyone. <laughs> you know, apart from all the drunk drivers and let's let's not go down that path. Get scotch. Mate, you won't be wearing jack shit. Alright, that looks like everybody down here has been dealt with. I can wait down here now. the mash that stuff's so worthless
Uh, a bunch of empty bottles and such. Door is not cowed and won't open. Okay. So we'll go up here and have a look in here. Let's go and tell Daddy the place is safe. We've successfully wiped out every super beauty in the area. Hello, son. Are you all right? I'm proud of you. Now let's get in there. Be careful. Did you need something? All right, in you go. Oh. Oh. Listen, I know who you are, okay? Far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here. So just stay out of my way. Why? Unlike some people around here, I stuck with Dr. Lee through it all. I was the last one to leave when we finally gave up. Now your daddy shows up out of the blue and suddenly I have to drop everything to come back and help pick up the pieces. Ah, uh, pull your head out of your ass, dude, honestly. Sure, sure. No matter that he disappears for almost 20 years, leaving us all hanging, it's not like we have lives or anything. Keep your hand. I'll give them three hours to get in here and sort this shit out. Oh, great. Get DK out of my way. Some people are in such a hurry. Did you need something? Well, yes, I'm in a hurry because you're fucking slow. Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. Be careful. Here we are. The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred, so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. Alright, so I'm gonna go down and use the access tunnels. Turn on the pumps. Last episode was pretty short, so I think we'll keep going for a bit longer on this one. Red 
Good work on the pumps. Hurry back, and I'll give you the fuse. Alright, hurry back to Daddy to get the fuses that we need. I know there's a lot going on right now. This is all very sudden. I just wanted to say... I wanted to say that I'm proud of you. You're a good person, and it shows. I didn't want you to think I hadn't noticed. You've had to deal with so much. We all have. Once we're done here, you can tell me all about it. For now, let's get to work. Right. The flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. Be careful. All right, so now I need to replace the fuses, and then I'll be able to get to the mainframe and start that. What? Hi. Okay, so the door's not powered. I need to replace the fuses somehow. How do I do that? Is that down further? The fuse is in place. You should be able to access the mainframe. No need to come back to the control room. Alright, so the fuses have been replaced. Now we go over to the mainframe and boot that up. Don't listen to the radar. Go up. Yep, now we got a green light at this door. Take the noodles. Nothing in the footlocker. Use the intercom so I can tell you where to go next. There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Jana says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level. Keep up. All right. There's a blockage in one of the pipes. We need to go and find out what's going on there. Feels good to have a mini on my hands. Evening. I'm guessing he wants me to go down here. Yep. Deal with whatever blockage is in here.
That's the Enclave. And they're all going in with plasma rifles. A random shitter down here. Damn, Enclave soldiers don't mess about. The wine worth ten. Yeah, we'll take it. All right. So our guns in pretty low condition. It's not ideal. Save it here. In fact, we're gonna stop it here for this episode. We're gonna leave it here, and we'll continue on in the next episode from this point. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you're still enjoying this series, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye bye.